Brian Powell of Iron Run Far here with Morgan Artol after a win at the 2015 U.S. Mountain Running Championships. Congratulations, Morgan. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel? This is your second uh, national championship on mountain running. Third? The third now? Third. Oh, I won man. the first two years and then last year I got second. Second, so <laughs> yeah. pretty good streak there. Yeah. Yeah, it's always, I mean, it's, uh, it's really nice, obviously. Um, but it's also hard because then people are like, oh, you didn't win when you don't win. And then you're like, come on. <laughs> you don't always win. Well, I mean, you did win with a nice little gap there. Yeah, I didn't really know how much. I always run like someone's right behind me, so I had no idea. Um, so how did the, the, the course work out for you? I mean, describe the course. <clears throat> um, it was good. It was a surprise. Uh, my course preview was not the real course, so <laughs> I did something different. Um, so Kimber... Uh, led for the first most of the first climb and about three quarters of the way up i passed her and um so is that when you switched over to the dirt road climb yes somewhere around there and then <clears throat> i knew the downhill would be one of my strengths but i also knew i didn't want to blow up on the first lap of the downhill so i tried to run it well but relaxed um and then <laughs> Knew what was coming the next time, so that's a nice thing. I was like, oh yeah, okay, now I know the course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, things went smoothly the last lap? Yeah, I mean, it hurt a lot on the uphill, and then the downhill, it's just like running like you stole something, just that you know someone's coming, and um, there's a target on your back, so try not to let up. And having won this a couple times, like, what keeps you motivated to, to push yourself? <clears throat> on the course? Or yeah, when you're at, when you're you know, coming down the hill the last time? Um, I just am someone that's point A to point B as fast as you can go. Mm -hmm. And I would, I'm never someone who, whether I'm fighting for 101st place or first place, I, or I have a 20 minute lead, I go as hard as I can to the finish. I've never kind of given up. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm wired. So aside from being the national championship, this was also the mountain running team qualify for Worlds. Uh, Will you be headed there? Yeah, I'm gonna go to Wales. I've never been there, um, so that should be neat. I've spent a lot of time across the pond, but never there, and um, so I think I'm gonna do that. Um, will you, I know you said you kinda keep your training, not light, but pretty f open and free. Is Will you focus a little more heading into the world, or do you just no. go with what works for you? I just go with what works for me, you know. Um, race when I feel like I need to race, and, that being, like with all my training that I do or don't do, I do very like folk, I feel like if you're gonna go out and put on your running shoes, make it worth it. Mm -hmm. You know, not just like garbage miles. So, um, probably, you know, some key workouts to breathe hard and go uphill and downhill. And then um, do some races. I like to race. Yeah. So I think that's. So then, know, what is uh, what do you got coming up between now and September? Uh, I'm gonna go do the Discreet Peak, August 9th in Alta, <clears throat> I think. Mm -hmm. um, if something local pops up, I usually jump in those. Like last weekend, uh, I'm gonna go to the Rut. Although now maybe I will not do the whole 50, maybe I'll do like the vert. Because isn't that like a week difference? <laughs> Two. Two, okay, that's right. Yeah. But I just have no, I've never done that before, so I don't know how I people feel. Um, but maybe I'll go do the vertical and then the half marathon mm -hmm. distance. Um, but I'm not much of a planner. Like, I kind of take it one race at a time. Okay. Like, I don't leapfrog to this race when I still have other things on my plate. Um, so. And you had a race this weekend. What do you do after a race? I mean, will you go out there and run tomorrow or mountain bike or? Uh, well, tomorrow we're driving home. So if we get home early enough, maybe I'd go swim or something mm -hmm. just to like stretch out. Uh, we're gonna go watch the Criterium in town tonight. Um, I'm gonna drink some wine. Um, I might go ride my bike if we have time, but I really, I think people get into this like habit of things they have to do mm -hmm. and I don't always think that's the best. I think if you actually listen to your body it knows what it needs to do and you're not going to get fit in an afternoon. You might get hurt but you're not going to get fit. Mm -hmm. so. so maybe go spin a little bit. But yeah, definitely go have some wine. Yeah, yeah, for sure and watch bike races and so watch other people suffer. <laughs> and it kind of was like this is a the lap nature of a course as a spectator is fun because you get yeah. to 
see people over and over again and suffer and cheer some and heckle some. And yeah, and it was fun. I have a lot of local friends in Bend, and I mean, thanks to everyone too for Max and everyone for putting this on. It's always nice to have people know your name out there and cheering, and um, it's a supportive community, so that's pretty neat. Right, so congratulations, Morgan. Thank you very much. And by any chance, is the top of a Winnebago the oddest place you've ever been interviewed? Perhaps. So now we just have to one-up it next time. Oh, I was going to say, if, you, if the answer was no, off. next time we're... <laughs> um, yeah, probably. <laughs> next time we'll have to find the world's longest zip line or something. Oh, that, or bungee jumping. Oh, if we tandem bungee jumped. <laughs> Into it. <laughs> yes. Or do, we start the interview on that. Yeah. It all goes downhill from here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, awesome, Morgan. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> now the trick is getting down. Biddy, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs>